Thank you. Today I want to talk about three things. I'm going to talk about the unique power of instant film. I'm going to talk about something called photo giving. And I'm going to show you how the photos you give can create positive, lasting impact forever in an instant. So what is instant film and what is this unique power of instant film that I'm talking about? Well, instant film is analog film that develops within a minute and when peeled apart, instantaneously produces a fully developed negative, just like the one you see on screen. And this one I made of Chitra just before she came on stage. So this technology is not new. It's been around for about 50 years now. But that's it. The immediacy of instant film remains unique today. So with this immediacy of instant film, instant film enables photo giving. Photo giving is the manner by which you make a photo for someone or a group of people and you give it to them instantly. And so unlike photo taking, where you take photos of people, in photo giving, you take photos for people. And this distinction is key. Let me show you why. The Great Tohoku disaster struck Japan about four years ago now. And many were buried with the earthquake. Thousands more vanished with the tsunami. Those who survived, they lost family members. And alongside the loss of all their material possessions, their houses, their clothes, their food, they lost with memories of a time before March 11, 2011. Memories of a couple's wedding. Memories of a child's birth. Memories of a child's wedding. The people of Tohoku lost more than just material possessions. They lost a part of them. And yet, in the aftermath of the disaster, photojournalists, foreign and local alike, descended upon Tohoku in trunks to document the Tohoku situation, mining relentlessly and insensitively for photo opportunities in the dismantled region. And this deeply aggrieved the people of Tohoku. This, for example, is a photojournalist's impression of Tohoku in 2013. So, have we become too comfortable with the propriety of photographing misfortune? And where should we draw the line between taking photos okay, of disaster-stricken conditions okay, or circumstances? To be honest, I don't have the answer. But I do know how to sidestep that line altogether with photo hoku. Photo hoku, a portmanteau of the words photo for photograph and tohoku, the region struck by the great tohoku disaster, is a photo giving initiative founded in response to the disaster okay, to make and give photos to those affected by the events of 311 instantly. And so, unlike those who have come before us and those who will after us, we travel up to Northeast Japan and we make and give photos to the people who have been affected by 311 instantly using our instant camera and our instant film. So this is how a typical photo hoku goes. On Friday night, we take the midnight bus up to Tohoku. We spend the whole of Saturday making photos for our recipient family, sometimes families, sometimes even communities. We put them into albums. We put them into albums. And on Saturday night, that's the end of another photo hoku. So, besides this, Photohoku also gives donor cameras collected from all around the world to our recipient families to enable them to continue the family albums that we have created for them. And so, when we have revisited our new friends on subsequent Photohoku trips, besides the warm, infectious smiles of Tohoku that greet us at every door, we are greeted too by albums now filled to their ends. Some have chosen to fill their photo albums with new family photos, taken during the April Sakura season. While others have chosen to fill these albums with photos of them living in temporary housing areas so that their children will remember the struggles their parents faced and survived. Today, Photohoku has made over 35 trips up to Tohoku, um, engaged over 20 different communities, made over 10,000 photographs and over 1,000 new albums. But beyond these statistics, I participated in Photo Hoku's 22 and 32. And it was during these trips that I experienced for myself firsthand the exceptional impact of instant film and photo giving. And so now I'd like to invite you to indulge in two stories of mine, two stories made in Tohoku. This is Kikuta-san, 
our host in Kesenuma on Photo Hoku 32. And here are photos I made for Kikuta-san, her family and friends. And on the, right, the bottom right, you have the Photo Hoku 32 team. These people I made photos for hardly speak a word of English, and I not a word of Japanese. But yet, as I made photos for them, during the photo giving process, as it were, once they understood my intention, that I was not like a photojournalist before who was going to come and take my photo, and when I was done, I would leave. Once they understood my intention, okay, I was able to connect with, and I was let in on the lives okay, of the people whose photos I had just made, themselves all individually affected by the events of 311. I learned about how Kikuta-san on 11 March 2011, having escaped to a higher vantage point across her house, heard desperate screams for help, but was powerless to do anything in the situation. I heard about how losing everything in her life in the disaster has allowed Kikuta-san to adopt a new approach to life, one that is grounded in a deep appreciation of the fact that she lost everything in life, and so now looks towards everything in the moment, in the now, with positivity and enthusiasm. I learned about local recovery efforts, recovering human fingers and bones, but not knowing who these fingers and bones belong to. Miraculously, I learned about how on a street in Kasanuma where sunflowers were grown in, in memory of those who vanished on March 11, the number of sunflowers still growing and surviving today is equal to the number of people still missing in, in Kasanuma today. I learned that gratitude sometimes comes in the most unexpected of forms. The boy in blue you see in the fifth photo, he said, thank you, gesturing to the portrait I had just made for him and his best friend. Sorry, I speak no Singapore. Well, you might speak no Singapore, but thank you for speaking to my heart. This is Sato-san. Sato-san lost her daughter in the Tohoku disaster, and so now has, to, has the added responsibility of raising her granddaughter alongside her own recovery. And this is Sato-san's story. <laughs> あ、いいね。いい感じ。そうですか。いい感じ。ね、こんなが笑ったの初めて。泣いてばっかり。うん。ありがとう。泣いてばっかりだからね。うん。あ、いいね。家に、あの、死んだらこれ<笑><笑> あの、聞く伸ばして。いやいやいやいやいや。そんなこと言わないでください、本当にも。もう十分大変な思いしたので。泣いてばっかり初めてよく笑ったね。本当ですか。本当でも確かにすごいみんなありがとう。I'll just stop it there. So, what is my purpose in sharing with you this? I'm illustrating how my photo hoku experience has demonstrated to me that photo giving provides a deeper necessity to people than we imagine it does. And every time we peel apart the, the film to, to review a fully developed negative, every time, I, it's an indescribable feeling, I cannot describe it. When I see the expression on their faces, in their mannerisms, and in their gesturing, it's a feeling of fulfillment that I have yet ex um, experienced elsewhere. And it's, it's always magical. Whether it's because it's the first time in a long time someone has given a photo to them, whether it's because they appreciate the photo, whether it's because my actions are completely unlike photojournalists who have come before me, whether it's because they are reminded of the events of 311, or whether it's because the photos I give are the first step or another step in the road to recovery from 311, I cannot say for sure. But what I do know is that the photo giving moment, the process, is a special moment for them as it is for me. And that is always magical. So, the photos I give, I will never be able to understand how painfully and how emotionally painful it is to live on with the memory of 311 firmly etched in your mind. But at least in these instances, I'm gratified that I can provide some comfort, some cheer to those who have been affected by the events of 311. The photos I give 
will not bring back the lost memories before 2011, those lost on March 11, 2011. But, and I genuinely believe it when I say this, through our photo-giving efforts, we have rekindled, reinvigorated, and even created certain hopes and dreams in Tohoku. And that is my Photohoku experience. When the nasty tornado struck Oklahoma in May 2013, Photo Oklahoma happened. When Typhoon Haiyan struck the Philippines in November 2013, Photo Sayas happened. Photo Sayas, a portmanteau of the words photograph and Visayas, the region struck most severely by Typhoon Haiyan. And now as I speak, the team is trying the hardest we can to get to Nepal to replicate our Photo Hoku efforts there. So, I mentioned Photo Oklahoma, Photo Sayas. Amazingly, Photo Oklahoma and Photo Sayas, they developed naturally. They sprouted up naturally. Local groups in Oklahoma and Visayas, they had heard about Photo Hoku's efforts in Tohoku. They wanted to replicate the efforts in their local communities. They got in touch, they pushed through, and they eventually conducted their own Photo Hoku's in Oklahoma and Visayas. So photo giving in the aftermath of a disaster is a kind of hopeful pursuit. It is an, a resistance almost in the face of adversity. But here's the deal. Anyone, anybody, it, does not, not an, not, it doesn't only have to be someone faced with natural disaster, but anyone, those separated from family, those dealing with sickness, anyone facing any kind of adversity can experience some sort of healing or solace from something as seemingly insignificant as the gift of an instant photo. And you, with a, with an, with a willing heart, with instant cameras and instant film, with a cause that you are truly passionate about, you can give photos to do good forever in an instant. Photo Hoku has made photo and given photos to the patients of a children's cancer hospital for their family and vice versa. These children and their family cannot be with each other all the time. And so I'd like to believe that these photos help to bridge that separation. Photo Hoku has made photos for the elderly at an elderly care center. Photo Hoku has made photos for orphans. Photo Hoku has made photos for the homeless. So you see, Photo Hoku can be or do anything. And as the founder of photo, co founder of Photo Hoku, Brian, says, the ways that this kind of photography, instant film, and photo giving can help people is limited only by our imaginations. Photo Hoku 2.0. You can be a part of it. So, what is your Photo Hoku experience? And how will you leverage upon the power of instant film to give photos and do good today? Thank you. <laughs>